So good morning guys, I literally just showered and got ready for the day. I have my earphones in because I was listening to a podcast. I really love Justin Long's podcast, so if you guys don't already know, it's called Life is Short with Justin Long and it's so good. It's honestly the only podcast to like, other than probably Conan O'Brien's, that really puts me in a good mood. I just love listening to him and his brother banter before and after the episodes. And for me, like the guests are almost like a bonus, so it's honestly my favorite podcast. But yeah, so I just got ready for the day. My hair is still a little bit wet because I showered. I always just do my makeup first and then blow dry my hair and then get dressed. That's my sort of order of getting ready. But I am ready today because my sisters and even my mom, they're coming over and we're going to decorate gingerbread houses together, which should be a cute festive little thing to do. We did it last year where we found like a little gingerbread village and we each decorated like a little mini one and it was a lot of fun. So I think this year we might have a four a big ones to decorate, so one each, and I think it should be fun. So I'm going to be vlogging that as well. It's such a cute activity to do, and I highly recommend doing it, guys, with yourself or your family or your loved one. If you're alone or with someone, I think there's almost something therapeutic about like decorating a gingerbread house. I don't know, it's really fun. It can be a little stressful, you know, but it's actually really fun to see all your hard work paid off in your cute little gingerbread house. And then you keep it around as decoration around the house, or if you don't have the space for it, just eat it the next day. It's just a cute activity. So I can't wait to show you guys how that is going to be. I hope maybe I'll set up my camera so that you can see us decorating as well. We'll probably talk about Christmassy things and yeah, when we get together we always have a lot of fun. Luna! Little Luna's looking at me like, Mom, who are you talking to? She makes me chase her all the way to her bed and then she finally stops. But yeah, it's actually nice to be ready for once in my video. So I'm going to blow dry my hair and actually get dressed. And maybe I might even film a video for this channel as well because I feel like I've been doing a lot of vlogs but I don't want to neglect doing my actual usual content as well. So we will see. Ordered some food because I got $15 off on Uber Eats. And oh my gosh, guys, have you ever had a Lafa wrap? I think I confused them because I asked for the sauce on the side and they put everything on the side. So I literally made my own Middle Eastern burrito. And I think it's even better this way because the bread's not soggy. It's delicious. And then Nikita has his little meal. These potatoes are actually really good with a Greek salad. So delicious. And we have Julia's hummus on the side. So bon appetit. Thank you for a delicious lunch. <laughs> Look how excited Luna is near the Christmas tree. What are you looking for, sweetie? <laughs> Come here. Me, that's the most comfortable spot for little Luna. She's always just sleeping on me, guys, like this. It's her most comfortable spot. As soon as I lay down, she just jumps on me. Isn't that right? You're the best. It's that time of the day, guys. Advent calendar time. But Jules already ruined this one because she said she opened it today without me. How dare her? And she said that this one was actually one that we already got. So instead of saving this for last, I'm just gonna do it right now. So let's see, today is already, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. It's already day number 16. So let's open it up. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> maple cream milk, organic maple butter from Quebec. Hmm. Is it just me or did we get this one but in the dark chocolate? Because this is milk and I'm pretty sure we got it in the dark chocolate before. What day would that have been? Let me just double check. Yes. Ah, it was a maple cream dark. So today it is the same, but it's in milk. So it's the milk version. So it's probably a little bit better, guys. I prefer milk chocolate to dark chocolate. To be honest, I like all chocolate. I even like white chocolate. My favorite is milk and then it's dark. Sometimes you're in the mood for dark, sometimes not, but it's always time for milk chocolate. So this is actually a good one. I don't mind. Mm. Whoa. Mm. This maple with the milk chocolate almost tastes more mapley, if that makes sense. Mm. This one's actually really good. And I'm not even a huge fan of things that are like overly mapley, but this is really good. I do know that they source all of the ingredients from Quebec. And Quebec is where they make a lot of their popular maple syrup. So that's why I love going to Montreal and going to brunch places. They have like the best maple syrup that they bring to your table all the time. Oh my gosh, I miss traveling so much, guys. Mm, really delicious. Can you see? Mmm. 
But so far from this brand, I've loved this advent calendar. It's never really let me down, even though today's kind of a repeat, but they make really good like fruity flavors. So like the cassis, the, I think the lychee the other day. And they also make really good praline flavors. So flavors with hazelnut, which is surprising because usually I'm, I like hazelnut, but I'm not like the hugest fan. I prefer pistachio, but yeah, it's really good. So I highly recommend this chocolate favoris brand. So far it's been the most exciting advent calendar because it's a different, unique gourmet chocolate every day. So it was our most expensive advent calendar, but it's honestly been the best. Okay, and then we're going to open Kinder. Aw, a chocobon. You can almost kind of see what you're getting because of the shape of it. I really like chocobon as well, so that's going into my collection. I don't always eat these all in the same day, and then sometimes I'll just totally pig out and eat all the ones in the same day and then eat the ones that I missed before, but <laughs> depends what kind of mood I'm in. <gasps> This is a good one. This isn't my absolute favorite, but it's my probably runner-up favorite. This one's really good. It's the Toroncino, so similar to an Italian Torone, which is nougat, and it's really good as well. This one's so busy sometimes, it's hard for me to find the numbers. Aw, <laughs> oh, oops, oh, I ripped it a little bit. Darn it. More to share. This is the hot cocoa one. So I think that it really just tastes like plain white chocolate inside a milk chocolate, but it has a little bit of a taste of a marshmallow flavoring, which is why it sort of would be called hot cocoa. So it's actually pretty good. It's one of the more exciting ones. But again, I think I've only got the almondy or nut ones one time, and that is my absolute favorite. So I hope that there are more of those. I think I'm in a super chatty mood today because I filmed a video and when I'm filming, I'm talking so much. So now I just feel like talking even more, but I have these tea advent calendars and I haven't been showing you them every day because I just feel like that might be an excessive amount of advent calendars. But if you guys want to start seeing these again from now on, let me know. Today I'll show you. Mine is a black tea with ginger, cloves, and star anise. And Nikita's today, even though I think he skipped yesterday, would be a rose hip herbal tea with hibiscus, apple, licorice, cinnamon, and rose petals. So the teas are very unique. A lot of them taste a little bit similar, but then when they're different brands, like the rose hip ones will definitely taste different than the green teas and so on, but otherwise the flavors can kind of taste the same. But this is such a good advent calendar. I think I got this at HomeSense for like, what did we pay? I think we paid like $7 each and you get 24, no, actually you get 25 teas. This is the only 25 tea advent calendar. It was such a good deal. I'm sorry to talk about HomeSense for you guys because if your area is in lockdown, no more HomeSense. I miss HomeSense so much, but this was such a good deal. I would definitely repurchase this and I highly recommend if you guys don't already, only drinking organic tea because if you drink tea that is not organic you're probably getting a lot of chemicals and pesticides with your tea and that almost defeats the purpose of having a tea because tea sort of makes you feel a little bit better about yourself <laughs> even if you put like cream and sugar and things like that tea just makes you feel better so you shouldn't get all those chemicals in there so i highly recommend shopping for organic teas when you can none of these videos are sponsored so i don't even need to say but of course this tea company is the English Tea Shop. It's a UK brand tea. It's really good and it's organic. So I highly recommend shopping for organic teas. And that's it, all my advent calendars for today. Now let's decorate some gingerbread houses. I'm going to be making, like I said, some apple cider and we're going to be decorating with Jen and my mom as well as Jules, of course. So yeah, I'm just going to be setting that up and showing you how we're doing that. <laughs> Cause I don't even really know to be honest. So I just quickly set up the table, that way we can decorate. I move the table runner to that end of the table, that way we have lots of space to make a mess decorating our gingerbread houses. How cozy. I have this cabbage slaw salad, and this is sort of going to be based off of Matthew McConaughey's wife's recipe that Jules showed to me, and I absolutely love it, and I wouldn't have been able to do the cabbage without this tool. This mandolin is honestly the best kitchen tool ever. I did everything with it. I did the onions, I did the slaw, and I even did the apples because there's some apples in this recipe. It's really good, and I'm just going to be using some red wine vinegar, oil, salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it, even like a little bit of lemon juice. And that's it as far as this cabbage salad goes. It's not a mayo-based one, it's just like an oil-based recipe. So it's actually super healthy and fresh. So yeah, delicious. So there you go, his sous vide fish and the coleslaw. And Nikita just said this coleslaw is amazing. Mm -hmm. So good, right? Mm -hmm. It's Matthew McConaughey's wife's recipe, so I guess I'll link it for you guys, but it's literally just everything I said, and I just guesstimate the amounts that go in. <laughs> Enjoy. Jules is spanking the sourdough, guys. She's really, gotta give it a good spank. She has a whole process going. Wow. 
And I just finished boiling the chestnuts and now they are going cut side up into the oven. Don't mind this pan guys, it's well loved, but they're going into the oven at about 400 to 425, whatever you prefer, to 15 to 20 minutes, whatever you guys prefer, whenever they look done. So let's put them in. So guys, the chestnuts just went into the oven. I feel like everyone does them differently. I'm not going over such an intense tutorial on how I make them because I made them in another vlog, which I can link in the description box down below if you guys would like. But they're very basic, they're very simple, and it's like a big part of the Italian culture for Christmas time to have chestnuts. So chestnuts are roasting in the oven. And yeah, it's just something that makes it feel like Christmas, I guess. So lately I've been making them. Normally I'd go to my grandparents' house and they would make them, but this year I've taken it upon myself to keep the tradition going. Do you guys like roasted chestnuts? To me, they kind of taste like sweet potatoes <laughs> or something like that, but they're actually really good and they're kind of fun to make. So just something festive that we do during the holiday season. And after the 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, I didn't show you guys this step last time, so I'm showing you now, but you wrap it in a towel and you could even crush it a bit so that you make it easier to peel after. And you leave it in here for a good 10 to 15 minutes. I would say 10 minutes is more than enough because you wanna eat these warm and you want them to stay nice and warm and get really soft in here. So I'm just warming up some apple cider. It's basically just taking the apple cider juice, heating it up on the stove. I put some actual ground cinnamon in here as well as allspice, which has the cloves and the nutmeg and things like that. Some cinnamon sticks. I even did the peel of one little clementine because I feel like that makes a little bit more fragrance. And you can even add a dash of maple syrup if you want it to be a little bit sweeter. That kind of keeps it feeling warm and holiday spicy. <laughs> Look at this, it's attached to the spoon. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna have some nice apple cider as we decorate. They smell and taste like potatoes. I know, don't they? It's the weirdest thing. Mm. Are they good? Are they cooked enough? Mm. Okay, good. Can you get it? <gasps> ah, look at the chestnut inside. Yeah, I'm really excited to start decorating. Mm. <laughs> so soft. Seriously, the nut version of a sweet potato. So this decorating of gingerbread houses has almost become like a little bit of a yearly tradition for us. We decorated them last year. We got a little gingerbread village and we all decorated a mini one. This year I think we're gonna have a big one each so it's gonna actually be fun to see Ooh, I'm excited. who's the nicest. Yeah, we love doing this. Yeah. It's honestly like Lisa said, a tradition and it's really fun. <laughs> a fun Christmas. My eyes look so small compared to yours because oh you have God. all this eye makeup. I'm like, I was just looking at how crazy my eyes look right now because they look really dark. <laughs> and my, Every time I smile my eyes just shrink so I just <laughs> Like I have such small eyes. Well, you have bigger eyes than me, I think. I know, that's why, but I'm thinking they look literally so tiny, but yeah, I'm really excited. I love gingerbread, so hopefully we can even eat it during this vlogmas season. Yeah. Christmas vlogs, yes we are. Bon Natale, guys, from Mrs. Kenny Cakes. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Jules, I love that you gave that to Jen. She stole it. It's okay. mine now, sorry, Bon Natale. Can't keep it. Let's pay that for the sweater that you guys didn't get me. <laughs> Still mad. I told her to buy this and she's like, KK, and then she never yeah. ends up buying it and then she gets mad that we bought it. I no, told her. I, told, I asked them, can you guys just get it? And I said, Jen, that? it's free shipping, just get it yourself. And you said, KK, KK. This is going to be an extravaganza. Money. Wow. This is already made. It's already put together, but we just have to decorate it. Oh, so cute. Yeah, that'll be cute. I'm going to be decorating this large gingerbread house so is Jules and I mom and Jen has got all the little villages the little little it should ones. be cute snow's falling down okay so that's one part of the roof I'm gonna pretty much do the same on the other side the now let yeah the roof the roof now let's see how Jen's decorating Let's see Camila's design. Mm -hmm. Julia's. Mom, what is your favorite Christmas movie and Christmas song? Oh boy, that's a good question. I have a lot of favorite Christmas movies, but one in particular that I, I love to watch every year is The Family Man. Oh, oh yeah, that's cute. I okay. love that movie that for some reason. That so good. Yeah, I, I it love it. It is so good, guys. See, I forgot how good it's the It's underrated. Thing. And it's something it's not so a lot good. of people talk about. It's I love so it. It's underrated and it's so much better it's, than a lot of Christmas movies. It is. It's, it's just... It's just, I find it a magical movie. It's just no, it beautiful. Is. It's a great movie. Yeah. And Nicolas great Cage meaning. is your paisano, right? Nic so. Nicolas Cage <laughs> is. is in it. Did and it's, look it up? it's great. It's a great movie. I really like it. Okay, and, and your favorite Christmas song? Christmas song? Oh, goodness. 
Oh goodness. Um, goodness. I like I like you know what I was just listening to the other day, the one with uh, CeeLo Green and Rod Stewart. Come Merry on, no Christmas. Merry Christmas baby. I love Merry that. Merry Christmas baby. Oh yeah, that's yeah. cute. Sure to treat. So Jen, what is your favorite Christmas movie okay. and Christmas song? Christmas movie? Hmm. It's so hard because I have. As a kid, I used to love the Santa Claus, but I love, I still love watching it. I also love the Grinch, Santa Claus and the Grinch. But I would say like now my favorite Christmas movies that like my go-to when it's Christmas time, I would have to say The Holiday mm -hmm. and Serendipity. Those oh, yeah. are the ones that like I love to watch. And I like while you're sleeping too. Um, I do, yeah. but like not as much as the other ones. But it is a cute one, but I, I agree with mom. Like this year, The Family Man the has won. Right? The, the older ones. Or, yeah, the older ones. The like, family man. They I hit love. different this year. They and do. <laughs> Christmas song. I can't pick just one. I so would which say. One, which one do you like? Do you find yourself listening to the most this year then? I think All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Oh yeah? Or, but I have to say, and you guys probably forgot about Last this. Last Christmas. I like Last Christmas. My George Michael. Mm -hmm. Um, also, Celine Dion, Oh Holy Night. Oh my god, yeah. Celine Dion, okay, that's another thing that reminds me of Christmas as a kid, is Celine Dion's Christmas Cause album. Because we used to listen to that song, like, yeah, yeah, to that yeah. album, sorry, oh, over and over again. Oh, oh Holy Night, when she belts it out. Okay, now Julia, what's your favorite Christmas movie and Christmas song? Okay, my favorite Christmas movie has to be The Nutcracker Prince. Aww. I'm taking it back to the old school. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. I really love the Nutcracker Prince for like cartoon wise. And I just, cause I love all of the music from the Nutcracker and to me it's a very whimsical kind of magical film. And as kids, I just remember watching that over and over and over again. So that one and then song. Oh my God. You answered this in probably my Christmas Q and A. Song would probably have to be a Tchaikovsky one. Yeah. So probably really? the dance of the Sugar Plum oh Fairies. Oh my God. Yeah. You're really? Yeah. That, that's what I said is my favorite. Christmas. I love it. That yeah, is like the epitome that. of Christmas to me. Yeah. And my dream is to go see um, the, the ballet. Yeah. The Nutcracker ballet. That you didn't see with us. I know. My favorite Christmas movie, like I said before, I think it's kid wise, like kitty wise, I feel like it's the Santa Claus because that one is just so good. It's just an all time classic, and the music in that movie is just the best. Mm hmm. And I also said music wise, I would have to say, I love Tchaikovsky, so I'd have to say anyone from the Nutcracker, or I really like that. Some orchestra. Da, 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 yeah, that one. I love that. Um, yeah, Michael Bublé is always fun. Yeah, I like Michael. He's your classic little crooner, I Christmas love, crooner. Yeah, I love his Christmas songs. Like Michael Bublé's Christmas album is yeah. on repeat for it's me. Cute. Yeah. That's funny. I would have to say Michael Bublé's Christmas. Like, he is Christmas for me. And I like, where are his specials? I used to look forward to his Christmas specials. Well, I want you guys to answer this question too. What is your favorite Christmas movie and Christmas song? Comment in the comment section down below because I want to know. I'm done my little gingerbread house. I think he came out pretty good. I've done some cuter ones over the years, but I think this one's actually really cute. I like the roof. It had really cute sprinkles. There's the little back side. <laughs> so there's mine. He's really cute. Oh, is that mom's? This is mine. Oh, this is my mom's. Look how cute that is. Very colorful and festive. Guys, oh, no. this is Julia's. Look how cute hers is. <laughs> What's the time? She put so like much cute little detail. Card, and I think she even made a little snowman. I love that. <laughs> I like her roof. Very Julia. pretty. Jen's Jen laughing, but Jen, it's actually cute in a weird way. It's cute. Aw, everyone's dissing poor Jen, but I think that her little snowman is actually adorable. <laughs> That's really cute. Aw, this will be a nice little midnight snack for Dan tonight, right? Okay. What are you going to do, too? Julia's. Do mine. Mine. And mom's. Very cute. They're very pretty. Guys, our gingerbread houses are complete. I asked this already to mom and Jen, so what is your favorite Christmas movie and what is your favorite Christmas song? And I have one for you, too, Dad. Yeah. My favorite Christmas movie of all time yeah. is White Christmas. I just love that movie. I love the era. It takes place in the early 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the characters, Bing Crosby, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And my favorite the Christmas song is The Little Drummer Boy. Oh, that's cute. I like that song, too. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. Cute, I'm glad you're a part of my vlog. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, yes, yes. Don't forget that without eggnog and a little 
fan of real <laughs> good quality dark rum. Mm. It's not Christmas. Ooh, I guess we'll bring you some on Christmas Day. Yes, yes. With uh, masks you gotta, on. You gotta buy it at Becker's. That's the best Yeah, it's, the new one is called Circle K and it's delicious. Premium eggnog. Oh, okay, bad luck. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I just want to end this vlog because I'm now in a sugar coma. <laughs> the amount of sugar and sweets that we ate while decorating is incredible. You know, you pick on chocolate, then icing falls, so then you just eat it. And we're honestly quite full. So I think tomorrow I need to do a little bit of a sugar detox because I've just had enough. But tonight was really fun. We had a good time decorating our gingerbread houses with my mom and Jen and Jules and everybody else. Even little Luna was around. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope this was a more fun vlog because we actually got ready for once and did something festive. And guys, Jules actually asked this question in her last vlog. So I wanna know if you're watching these vlogs until the very end, if you can leave your favorite Christmas or holiday inspired emoji in the comment section down below, please do so. And that way I'll know who actually watches these until the very end because I'm so curious for how long you guys actually stay tuned for. But until I see you guys next time, Happy Vlogmas, happy day 16. I cannot believe it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>